All right, YouTube, we're going to do something different today. We're going to build some standard decks. I'm pretty excited for the new standard set. I want to play with some of the new cards. Work, that's rough. So we're going to start building. I got, I got probably five or ten ideas, at least, that I want to try. Try out tonight. I'm just going to like build them up, and then we're going to probably play them this weekend. But I think the first one is going to be Turbo Fog. I like this deck a lot. I think this deck's actually going to be pretty good if people are really high on these, uh, are really high on the, um, the Surveil deck's going to be in there. Yeah, I, I've got, I got some ideas for that. Of Domin area. What can I see to fairy? Oh, quantity zero. I think I think I'm gonna be pretty high on this deck for everyone, especially if everyone's really high on the uh, whatever it is, the green decks, because this deck is going to handle like the I would assume this deck would handle the um like the green stompy decks and the uh, like the green white decks pretty handily I think so. We need our search for his contas. Three of those. We need our, I think it's Root Snare is the one that's still in. Root Snare, Chart of Course. We need our Karns Temporal Sundering. And we need our Karn. <clears throat> then we need the Gift of Paradises. We want to leave probably 26, a room for 26 lands. So we need to leave some space for that. The card I'm actually pretty excited about trying this deck, especially considering I don't think that the guilds of the fog from guilds of ravnica is that good is i want to play this card because it's a body that brings across the land which is important for these kind of decks especially if they're like they don't have a, another fog that's not great this is another card that can kind of help to bridge the gap Chemisters. Chemisters. Oh, I can't even spell. This is going to be like the mockery of me throughout this entire thing showing off my spelling skills. Insight, uh, GHT. Here we go. All right, put two of these in. Settle the wreck edge. Two of these. So we have room for three more cards. I probably should try out at least a couple of the guilds, the guilds of, um, where is it, the, the guilds of Ravnica, um, Fog, pause for reflection. Maybe just like one, because it only works with Teferi if you have a gifted land or if you have a district guide in play in order to convoke for it. So it might not be great. And that's 34 spells right there. So what's going to be hard is the lands. Because I we've got we've got um four temple gardens. We have Glacial Fortress. <clears throat> Gl 
Glacial Fortress, um, Sun Petal Grove. And these are our duels. So we only have like 12 of these lands that we can use, which I think, I believe in the last one, there were, there were way, way more. Unless there are more in standard. If you have ARN, you can do... No, I can't do it yet. I can do it tomorrow, Rafi. There's no seal. You can't do the sealed events right now. So let me let's go down here and let's just make sure that we aren't missing. There's no there's no other duels in the format because they rotated. So now we've got room for a lot of basics. I didn't think this many of these rotated. All right, let's just make sure there are no more lands in the format. Type land. So in standard, <laughs> how's it going, Cody? Oh, there's Hinterland Harbor as well. So you have Glacier. Oh, so you have all the check lands. So we're probably going to play 16 of these checks, 12 check lands, and we're going to need the Temple Gardens. Not much. Just trying out the new stuff here. And now it's probably all just basics. So we need we need another 10 basics, or we can play like some number of Field of Ruin. I did like Field of Ruin to be able to hit my opponent's Field of Ruins so that my Iscanta was 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 able to flip. Yeah, I think we're gonna need it to make the mana work, which might mean that like this deck need will have to wait. The nice thing is that of these check lands, they all, like eight of them check off forest. They all check off Temple Garden. We have four gardens. They all, they all check off of that. And then like each one of these, eight out of the 12 check off each basic. So I'm going to put one more field in because field also helps fix your mana. And then we need forest... We're probably going to need, like, we might need more forests or more actual basics that I'm thinking of. So let's cut one of these. Let me get an island. Um, I don't know, to tell you the truth, Rafi. Like, I knew that I don't, it all depends on how fast the format is, you know, whether we need Settle the Wreckage. So we've got six forests, and let me just try probably a Miser's Plains. Plains is the like weakest; it's the least used color in the in the deck. So it's the one we'll we'll need the least. This mana base is like that. That's gonna be the hard part about building these mana bases. They're gonna be a little ugly to start. Like maybe we probably can actually cut a Glacial Fortress and just play another island. Because Glacial Fortress is like the weaker of our duels. It's not green. A Snapcaster card could just be better than Settle. The same amount of mana. Are you talking? What are you talking about? The Snapcast, the blue blue, one that we we talked about today, Cody. I do think that if you can get this deck, the mana to work in this deck, like the tapped versus untapped, it's going to be very good week one. And like district guide will help us hit our and fix our mana. So like I'm not super worried about that. Yeah, I don't think. I'm not sure that's what we're looking for. Knight of a of autumns. Knight of autumns. Knight of autumn. Is that what it's called? What do we got here? Oh, I get rid of the land section here. So then I can actually build a sideboard with this deck. I'm not sure I'm gonna build many sideboards tonight because. It's difficult to know what you want for uh, for some side for sideboards just because uh, you don't know the format yet. So it's night. Let's go up here to a color. 
then let's get green white. Yeah, so this card is going to be nice because the easiest way to lose with this deck is to either get run over or lose to Sorcery Spyglass. And this card kills Sorcery Spyglass and gains you a bunch of life. Yeah, like we're, we're probably not going to do it with all of our decks, Cody, but we're going to do it at least with these ones. Yeah, because because like I have an idea of what this deck's going to need because I've played it enough. So now we're going to cut this out. We definitely a deck like this. Def, like this is probably the first deck I'm going to stream this weekend. I would assume these negates are going to be good. Disdainful Stroke will also probably be pretty decent. And then like some number of probably want a little bit more creature removal will probably be good. So maybe something like just a piece of sideboard hate that also like it's not relevant. This card also can get rid of Sorcerer Spyglass when you need it to. And then And then I want to try this card as kind of like a control finisher here. Like in a control match, you just make a bunch of mana and you just cast this and it gets mid-range decks. What is that? It lost a fog. It lost haze of pollen, which cycled. Oh yeah, like the easiest way to lose to this deck is they go spyglass to fairy. And then like that's that's like the easiest way to get beat up when you play this deck. Which is why this card is so good. Because you just get run over is how you lose. Or you just go like... Or you get Spyglass out of the game. So, something that these last two spots might want to be that might be important for the deck. Because like a card like Walking Blista was really important when the deck was in standard because Walking Blista could pick off random creatures. That they might just want some spot removal. The two mana gift of paradise. What's the name of the card? Is it the the new one? Is it a new one? Let me see. Because if it, oh, the Utopia and land. Whoa, I missed this card. I can't even believe I missed this one. Oh, that is sweet. You can do that on turn two also. Huh. So maybe we can move these Settle the Wreckages to the sideboard and then try like... and then try something maybe like a split like this. I'm a little nervous that without the settles, we're just going to get run over. So I do kind of actually want Gift of Paradise to gain life. Because, you know, that's relevant. So maybe something like this also that just cantrips. Just when it enters the battlefield, trailer is. Well, no, no, this add one mana of any color. No, it doesn't ramp. Oh, never mind. This is why I didn't see this. It just started. No, th th if this one doesn't ramp, I don't think I'm interested in that. Yeah, if it just fixes mana, I don't think it's going to be good enough. Like, what makes Gift so good is that with in conjunction with Teferi, it just creates, it nets you a lot of mana. Yeah, I'm going to, I have two. No, yeah, it just, it just fixes. I've got some opinions. I, I've got a couple Boros decks that I want to try out in a second. So let me just figure out what I want. I'm going to put like, just jam two random sideboard cards in here. Like, a card that is good, going to be good against aggro decks, I think, is Tristani. I think this card's better than Lyra because it just stabilizes your board a lot better. And like, it's just not just like, you, you can play Lyra sometimes 
and it just gets disintegrated or gets killed in the new format, and then you didn't do anything, you don't gain any life. Tristani at least is going to leave behind a bunch of creatures. So I think that this is kind of the first deck that I want to start with in the new format that I'm pretty excited about. I'm really pumped for this card out of the sideboard. Like, this just fixes a lot of the issues the deck had. The ETB is, is useless, yeah. It's just worse than Gift of Paradise. So, let's try out... Let me see another deck. I'm going to get my Teferi kick over with before I move over to other decks. So, give me one second. I had something that I was working on. <clears throat> so, add deck. Blue white nexus standard. So we go back into here. Now this I, I thought of this being like kind of abusing the jumpstart mechanic and but being a control deck and being able to I don't really like that card that is at a rare. Well, it does three things. Like it gains life, puts counters on like at worst it's a it's a three mana four three Cody, which is like when your card's like that at worst, that's probably you know a little pushed. Chemister's insight, and then I'm gonna put these in here, but we might end up cutting them, and then we want to play some number of Nexus of Fate. Okay, so then we will need our search for his Kanta. One, two. We got our seal aways. And then it's what? Sinister's Sabotage is the card. Yeah, but like I think that with these with a the jumpstart mechanic, you can afford to play Teferi because you're ditching it. Yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get the, the counter spell. Sinisters. Come on, sabotage. This is where my spelling comes in. It's just awful. Let me get up here to the blue. And the kind of the goal of this is like. I'm not sure if the format is going, how fast the format's going to be. Like, I think that the Boros decks are going to be pretty fast. But besides that, I'm not really sure. And a good way to pull away, like if you can just Nexus chain a couple times in a control deck, it's a good way to put you ahead. Uh, especially if, you, if you just Nexus for three turns, you've drawn six cards. And with the, with the uh, you know, Insights and the Radif Idea, we might get away with that. Settle the wreckage. Want at least three of those. I'm not sure if we're going to want the full four wall or not, but we're going to need essence scatter. Essence scatter. Probably, probably going to want the full four settle the wreckages now that I think about it. Yeah, I, I, th I think there's two ways to build a Boros deck. And, like, there, there's a way that you can build it, like, really low to the ground. And then there's, like, a Militia Bugler. There's, like, a Militia Bugler way that we can do it. I don't know if we're going to play four Essence Scatters, Cody, but we, we might. So then we probably want Syncopates. Syncopate, and then we need two more cards. We could play the O Ring. Yeah. There, we can play the O Ring, but I think that's going to be too slow. I think tapping out on turn four is not really what we want to do. 
So let's look at our blue. Let's see what we have for our blue and white cards in standard. So let's standard color blue, white. And then we've got, we're going to go instant sorcery. Um, just instant sorcery. Let's look through here what we've got. I don't know if you guys can see this because it's it's dark because I don't have the cards, but that's just how it shows up here. <clears throat> There's not really too much else, I don't think. Like disdainful stroke, that's gonna go on the sideboard. Some number of those. I need two more cards because we probably want to play. 26 lands, maybe 27 if we play like an arch. No, this is 20, 34. This is, that's it, actually. That's the main deck. So now let's just go. We need some Glacial Fortress. I don't know. I got to get rid of these. I always forget to undo my settings when I move in between them. We need some meandering rivers. Meandering river. This is going to be hollow fountain when it comes out, but we don't have that yet. Then probably field of ruin. Field. Oh, I still have these set on here. Two, th probably three. Then maybe one R. Now we're probably not going to need any more card selection because we have the radical ideas and the chemistry, the chemistry's insights, just to give a whirl. So probably the rest of it is just islands. Our island. Let's get a couple more in here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then planes. We probably need more islands than planes because we have so much double double costing. We more like like we've got sinister sabotage to cast on three, which will be important. All right, let's try it like this. I mean, this might be too heavy on the islands for the mana base. And then the sideboard is just going to be something like, I want to play, I want to be able to board into histories, which might mean we need more white sources if we're going to play History of Benalia after sideboard. Get a, lira, a couple Liras. Um... Negate. Get some disdainful strokes. Two of those probably. Now the other card that I was going to think about was... Um, probably some Sorcerer's Spyglass. Then we just probably want just like a Disenchant effect. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Get two of those in there. And then I can't think of what the white, the white, um, oh, get out of this. What the 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 white disenchant is? It gains you four life. It's white. It's an instant divine. Invoke the divine. So probably something like this. Is something also I want to give a try here. 
Now we can go move on to another deck. Here. I'm going to build a Boros deck. I think I'm pretty excited about, about those. I'm going to get off my Teferi kick and try... Like a Boros, low to the ground, aggro deck. So probably want a card like a Don, a Dantos Vanguard, G-A-U-D-U-A-R-D. Now I had to reset my, reset these. Because this card should be pretty sweet. I mean, it just hits hard. Danto. It's a, not a Danto's. It's a Danto. I think you want. What's the name of the hawk? Because I think the hawk is like a really sweet card to mentor onto. Yeah, I think you want like really low to the ground, like Healer's Hawk. And then probably what is the Legion War Boss? Is the Rabble Master no, Legion? I gotta get rid of the white on this. Legion War Boss. Get some of this guy in here. This guy is probably pretty solid. Then we need the. Uh, Whatever the card, though, the Tajik. Probably not four, because it's a legend. It's a lot of threes, because I also kind of want to play History Vanalia in this aggro deck, but maybe this just isn't like a History Vanalia deck. Let me go red. Let's get let's look at some creatures here. Creatures. Red, white. This is I think this is gonna be on the the big the big Boros deck. I think that's might be this might be a good sideboard card for this kind of deck, but I'm not sure if it's a main deck one. Dire Fleet Daredevil is also probably pretty insane against the other aggro or against like the Assassin's Trophy decks. History does work, yeah. So maybe we want to go like knight. Well, let me look at the other cards here. I'm assuming you want a card like this in your sideboard, I think. In a deck like this. But I might be wrong. I don't think we can play Chain Whirler. I think it's going to be too hard to cast. Mentor the Meat. Whenever there's another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield, you may pay one draw a card. That's a combo with Legion War Boss. Um, oh, this card's pretty sweet. Let's get a couple of these in here. It's another two drop. Mentor. So two Boros Challenger gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So this card mentors, which is, you know, I think that's important. History of Vanalia. What if I want history in here? Oh, I got it. gets rid of my. I don't want to do that because it gets rid of my settings. I want to look through the creatures some more. <clears throat> We're going to go really low to the ground. Probably want like Dauntless Bodyguard. Let's see if we can look through everything that has Mentor on it as well. Because we can look through keywords if I can find them. Toughness, subtype, beast. Now it looks like we can't look up keywords. Oh, that's annoying. <clears throat> the more I play with it, the more I'm starting to think it may be a trap. Vindicator is also a controversial at the moment. You're talking about this guy right here? I can see with it not being as great if you can't pump it. Like if you can't mentor onto it, it might not be very good. 
Probably Hunted Witness is good. Because that's just like two bodies. And then like History of Vanalia. Now we gotta get rid of these. Try this history out. Uh, I'll get rid of this too. So that's 31. Now I need to figure out like, I probably want for removal, I probably want, I like Goblin Burnett. It's a smaller mentor card that has a mana sink. Let me look at another card here. Mentor. With lesser power. Hmm. This card seems like decent. Let me get some removal in here. I think we're going to want like lightning strikes probably. Maybe like Conclave. Probably want Conclave Tribunal. We probably want Legion's Landing if we're going to go wide. I definitely want more Mentor cards if we want to play this card here. Legion's... Some Legion's Landings. So that is currently 39 cards. You like, yeah, this card doesn't seem great unless you have a mentor. We don't have that many mentor cards. So we've got these two here. That's really it. So maybe this card isn't that good. Maybe it's not worth it. The just, oh, that's the one that kills Lyra, right? So maybe we just do this and then play 20, 21 lands might be not enough though if we want to hit like three on the top. Let me go, let me get these sacred foundries. We have clifftop retreat. What is going on here? Yeah, there it is. Clifftop retreat. Planes. If we want to go bigger in the sideboard, we probably should have like planes. Mountain. We probably should have some of that uh, pump spell too. I want more planes. Add one. Remove one. Here. What's the card there? Integrity? Might make mentoring a little easier. <clears throat> yeah. So then in our sideboard, we probably want like I think directly Daredevil Sweet. I think the we probably want another land. And then we want the four drop angel. So let me come down here. Red, white, type. Where is it? So maybe we can try like having a couple of these in our sideboard to just kind of enable like a go bigger plan against creature decks and it just flies. Yeah, Aurelia. That's what I'm thinking. And then maybe like if we want game against control decks, so we probably can just put some invokes just to like have it to, have to win the concave tribal mirrors. Like invoke the divine. 
Moshe. Yeah. Maybe a couple buglers to help go long, too. Like, if we're playing against a control deck, we can bring in, like, three buglers. And then... A couple of these. And then, like, I need another good... Maybe like a settle the wreckage. Just like whenever you're playing against those aggro decks mirrors, like settle's always really good out of the aggro decks. Starfleet Daredevils look kind of like nonsense. The more I look at them. But then I'm like, how are we going to beat the big creature decks? But like the big creature decks aren't going to play a lot of removal anyway, so maybe we just play like more Justice Strikes. Then is there a way that we can like cheaply draw cards? Maybe like that Experimental Frenzy card? Yeah, I'm going to put Experimental Frenzy in the sideboard. And we're going to play a game. Oral Skilled Gate. Experimental. Get one more of these. We got in your deck using so many one drops. Yeah, that's what I think. Because like against control decks, you just side in like this. The problem is it doesn't work with Bugler. Like this is the old anti anti synergy right here because it goes into your hand. So maybe this isn't right. Maybe it should be like Advances Blasting Cannon. Because then we just have like everything works a little bit better. Yeah, I think the cannon works because we, we likely want to bring in Experimental Frenzy and um, Militia Beagle in the same matchups. All right. Now let's try like a Boros mid-range deck. Boros mid-range standard. Okay. So, Alicia Bugler. Format. Let's just go like this. Let's pick, let's pick some cards we want to play with. We want to play with these. We're going to be a bigger deck. Maybe just like two. Play some History Banalias. We're just picking cards that we want to play with. I don't think we can cast Banalish Marshall. We can, we can just put Clift Opportunity in there because we're going to need it anyways. Yeah. How's it going, Andy? Rekindling Phoenix might be good, too. I'm just looking at other stuff as well. Kind of like a, a, a mid-range Boros deck is what I kind of want to check out here. I want the Bugler. So I want the Bugler, and then I want to have hits off of Bugler. So maybe this Lyra goes out. We can play, like, if we think there's going to be less... If we think there's going to be less um, Chain Whirlers, maybe we can, like, get some Siege Gangs in here because, like, Bugler finds Siege Gang. History Militia Bugler. I have a million threes already because I want to play Tajik as well. But Tajik might not be that great because we don't have things to mentor onto. Yeah. So I, I built one of those already, Andy. I don't know how long you've been here. 
But I did kind of build like a low to the ground version of the deck. So it might not be good enough to like play like the Militia Bugler, you know, you just got here. Yeah, it may not be good enough to play like a Militia Bugler card advantage deck. But, but I'm not sure. It does sound cool, so I at least want to like put a set of cards together so I can stream. Mentor and Aurelia don't work on defense. Yeah, that's another thing. So maybe this deck just like doesn't work. And I just want to play like, you know, white cards I like. But maybe that's just like not a real thing. Let's look through it a couple more cards. See if there's any kind of like, you know, way to make this happen. You just don't play one drops. You probably play whatever it is, like Hunted Weakness. Hunted whatever it is, what's it called? The We just had it, Hunted Witness. Because, like, that's just, like, a body that, that you know, comes with another body. So I, I don't know if this is good enough on its own, but, you know, it's something. I wonder if this card will see any standard play now that, um... Now that, uh, like, so many other really good four drops have rotated out. We're definitely going to need some re removal, so let's get the, let's get the O-ring in here. I'm always going to call it O-ring. Four mana O-ring. All right, so I need two drops. All right, type, is there a CMC? Let's see what there are for twos. We might want Lava Coil in this deck too. CMC to include X. Why didn't that work? What are you doing to me, Moto? I put CMC too. Probably want the war boss in this one as well. This is my problem here. Is it like I've got these war I've got like this war boss. Like maybe you can't play Tajik in this deck, but I've got like 48 threes already. Let me get Sacred Foundry in here. And then let me get oh, I've already these are on creatures. Get this in. And we're probably going to want to play like 24 lands, 25 lands in our deck. So I'm just going to put like an arbitrary amount of plains and swamp and uh, mountains for now. Like we can figure it out in a second. Mountain. We need at least 24, I think. So now we need like 10 more cards. I'm thinking Lava Coil is probably like a decent removal spell. Yeah, they did that, they did that today with the downtime. Downtime. So I need like a we might, have, we might not need four of these. Like four might be aggressive. But we need like Probably need another land if I'm gonna have this many five drops. I need something to do on two. That's like that's decent. I need a creature to play on two. So let me go red, white, type. Oh, let me get out of this. Red, white, creature. We need like a two drop. That's that's like decent. Like I don't know. Like I, I kind of want to play this card, but I don't think it does enough. Because like if you're not flashing something back with it, then it's just not that good. Um. Should 
Shiv and Dragons in standard? No way. That's cool. I played against somebody in the mocks that played a red black deck with this in it. This guy's like cool, but probably not not really playable. If we could play a Johnny's Pride Mate, that would be sweet. So this is a 2 3 for 2. You know, with a little bit of a mana sink. I don't know if that's actually good. We're just putting it in there for a placeholder until we figure it out. That's just a bear. Yeah, that's not good enough. That's a limited card. I wonder if that red that red white dinosaur is still in standard, the 3 3 that attacks and blocks each that attacks each one. I don't that I don't like that card's big. It's got vigilance too, right? The problem is if you play against the green decks, like that could just be awful. Where's the raptor? Where is it? So the card was a dinosaur, so it's still in standard. Maybe you can play this. I don't know. That doesn't really do play both sides well. Maybe that's good in the aggro deck, though. That guy. Where's that dinosaur? Am I crazy? There's a dinosaur in standard that, like, it's something raptor. Let me see if I can find this thing. Is it like Raptor? Frenzied Raptor? Relentless Raptor. Oh, I already got 60, I already have a million cards. So this card, better than this card, attacks or blocks each combat if able. So that's. Those are the cards. I don't know if that's, like, this thing is just big. I don't know if it's actually good, but I kind of want to, like, try it. Cause it's a little two-drop that plays offense and defense. The problem is it's our only non-hit with Bugler. So, and then Rekindling Phoenix. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have four. Yeah, we don't even have that many Bugler hits. So you can't even play Bugler in a mid-range deck. Yeah, I think I'm, I think we're off this one. Because you just lay the cards out. Like, they just don't come together. Because, like, you can't really play... Because the Bugler... Even if we made this the other two drop. The two, three. That means there's only four, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen hits off a of Bugler. Which seems low. It doesn't seem like you're going to be able to actually get enough um, hits off of it. So I think we're going to move on to a new deck here. Try something new. I kind of want to try this. Let's see the UB Surveil. Exit out of this. Exit out of this. So let's try this blue, black. I definitely want to get the whatever it is. The the one drop, the one drop two two that gets huge. This is so bad. It's gonna take me so long to figure out all these names. Probably should go with creatures first, because that's what we're looking for to start. Probably blue. It's a one drop. So bad at this. I forget the names. Yeah, Bugler does hit Bugler. But I, I don't I just don't think that deck has enough hits. The more that I 
look at it. So maybe I'll go back to it. So I guess if it hits Bugler, it's got we can make it to have 20 hits. What is it? What is the name of the one drop? Let me go. Format standard. Losing my mind. So type CMC one. What's going on, buddy? Dog came over to say hi. Where is this thing? Am I going crazy? Is this thing like not not a guild? Let's see here. I've got like four windows open here of of just various decks and various like the sites up. Okay, this car we want. We want Nightville Sprite. So let's get rid of this. Blue black. Night Vale Sprite. A little engine card. Man, building decks on streams hard. <laughs> it's the first time I've done this. I thought I was prepared. Where is this thing? Thoughtbound Phantom. There we go. All right, so let's get this in here. Thought Bound Phantasm. I wish there was a way here where you could, like, you could search keywords. Because you can look up subtype, but you can't look at anything else. Probably want some Doom Whisperer. Because that card looks sweet. Four is probably a lot, but... <clears throat> Looking for cards here. Yeah, I, I can't remember the names of them, Andy. That's my problem. I don't know. I don't have all the names set up super well yet. This card's probably pretty sweet. We can play some of these. This card's probably going to be good in the sideboard of this deck. I probably won't build the whole sideboard, but I will at least at least like put some cards in there I know I want. I think this card's really good. This is like the Glen Sleeve Siphoner of the format. I'm pretty sure you can look up keywords. You think you can? All right, let's surveil. Oh, you were right. Way to go. All right, put a get this guy in here. Got this. this I don't think this card's very good. But I keep seeing this card, and I just don't think that it does. Like it's so small. It's just like a four three, so it's gonna die to like game one removal. I wonder if we can play this card and just be like an aggro deck. Probably want some of our cast downs. Let me get rid of this tag here for creatures. And then put up. Because I think we want the Thought Eraser card. If we're going to go like all in on this Suvail. Here. This might not be good enough at two mana. 
but it might might be decent. I don't know. I'm just kind of putting surveil. I want like payoffs for it, which I don't see a lot of them. It might just be like this card right here, the Night Veil vale Spire. Like this could cruise a little bit of advantage. I guess the Spy Bug gets big as well. So I guess this is like a low to the ground deck. So maybe we want cards like we get some Notion Ray. Maybe we want like Spell Pierce. Maybe some cast downs. Our cast down here. Let me look up some more cards here. I wonder. If, I don't know if this deck wants Vraska's Contempt. Maybe the like Vraska's Contempt just seems so clunky. So Gain control of target creature. You probably want this over here. We'll just put this over here for now. We'll figure that out. We can discover it. each opponent returns a non-land permanent. Highest number of mana in their hand. Oh, this card's sweet. Play a couple of these. Probably, I think that card's actually probably pretty good. It's kind of like a pseudo removal here. And then we probably can get away with like a pretty low lane count. We probably can play more removal. Maybe we just play like a full set of cast downs, maybe like a couple of Rask's Contempt, because we probably need some way to kill Legends. Okay, so that is 24, 36 cards. So let's go Drown Catacombs. Do I have a type clicked on here? What's going on? Standard. There we go. Uh, watery grave. Watery grave. Then we're just gonna kind of like little kid the mana base here, just to like just to get it in there. I'm gonna stream a lot of these decks. I think this weekend, and I'll put a little more thought into like the specific mana bases. Then like this deck probably definitely wants probably a couple more Veraska's Contempts. Just in the sideboard. Some more Veraska's Contempts. Negates. And I can probably put like we can have a decent high land count like with surveil, so we probably can play a couple bloodfast in the board. I can never spell Arvels right. Bloodfast, come on. A R G. How do I spell this thing again? A Argles. A R G U E L S. A R G U E L Articles. Put like a couple of these in here. And I guess I'd like some way to like go over the top and draw cards, but I don't I don't know a way to go over the top with this deck here. Like I don't know. I don't know what exactly would be a good use of a card to Kind of shoot it over. We can just go with this and then do that later. Try those out. Like, fine-tune it later. So let's try PPV, PPVD. You would follow PV. Okay, yeah, yeah, you did. I, I haven't read it yet. I've been, been busy this week. I 
Okay, so this deck, March of the Multitudes. I do want to play this deck because this reminds me of like the Green White Tokens deck was my favorite standard deck of like all time. Loxodon. This card is sweet. This card is like so. This card's pretty awesome. Shauna's. What is it? Sisse's Legacy. The other one's Imara. Now we need some creatures. We can play Knight of Autumn, but I don't know if that is type creature. No, that's blue. Green white creature. I don't think we want Pelt Collector in this deck because, like, you're not worried about things like dying or having like large creatures coming to play. But I could be wrong. Enrage. Whenever it's dealt damage, yeah, we probably don't need that. What does this guy do? Vigilance. Dies, makes two tokens. It's probably pretty good. Put a couple in there. It's hard to cast, but we'll figure it out. We can probably play the Lay of the Land card also to help us, like, bridge the gap. You know what might be decent in this deck? Stubhorn Sentry. Like Stubhorn. Well, we want Land of War Elves. Land of War Elves. History of Benalia. Pumps pumps these two. Oh, I have to get rid of this creature here. History. Is Amara a knight? No, it's a cleric. That's 30 cards. We want the Conclave Tribunal. That's 34. We probably want 26 lands. Or you can play some of that split card. Flower. Creatures you control. Yeah, so let's play a couple of these in here. I wonder if we want Stubhorn Sentry. Because Stubhorn Sentry is like, we're going to get the City's Blessing really fast. I don't know how good. This card's probably pretty good. It's a Knight. Is Stubhorn a Knight? Let's see. Cities, look at the city's blessing cards. Snubhorn Sentry. Yeah, this guy's probably good enough to get a couple of them in here. And then we've got 22 lands with two lay of the lands. That's probably going to be okay. So let's get Sun Petal, Sun Petal Grove. Temple Garden. Plains. Forest. Probably need to take out the planes because we want to be able to cast land or elves on one. And then out of the sideboard, we're going to throw it together. I should be able to do something. Invoke the divine. You think the four drops is stinker? 
Maybe the stub horn's better. Like, I don't know. We're going to be able to turn the stub horn on pretty easy. I'm just kind of putting in some disenchants, kind of as like placeholders. I don't know if they're actually what we're looking for because we've already got like the Knight of Autumn in here. So let's go like this and let's go. Let's search Knight. See if there's any way we can do anything sweet with our, anything more sweet with our histories. Put a plus one, plus one dagger on a counter creature. That creature gets indestructible in turn. Create three. I think this probably isn't good enough. You think so? We'll go with a. Uh, we'll go with what Andy is saying here. Flower. The annoying part here is I just don't have any idea how to put a sideboard together yet because it's just like we're just not quite there yet. Like, I'm sure this deck's going to want, like, probably a bunch of Sorcerer's Spyglass. Because, like, this deck, I'm assuming, is going to struggle quite a bit against something like Teferi. So, just having an answer to that is probably good. Probably Shalai. It's probably like decent. You play your creature mirror. Um, I wonder if there's a green white way to draw cards. Green white. When you gain life, you might pay two if you do draw a card. Probably Vivian Reed is actually decent. A couple of Vivians. <clears throat> yeah, it, fi it just fixes you. It's, it's like how, um, I don't know. I mean, it's obviously not Attuned with Ether or Traverse the Uvenwald or, like, Oath of Nyssa, but it's one of those cards that are pretty much good at all times. We could play the bus, Andy. Oh, you weren't on that one for that. And you guys were on that uh, one of the, the cast a little while ago, and you guys were geeking out over the bus. I thought that was... Uh, what was his name? Ginger was. I thought that was pretty funny. We could merc because, like this, I'm assuming this deck here would just crumble. You were on for the bus, man. When Ginger was just like losing his mind for that, I thought that was hilarious. I don't think the card's great, but it's probably pretty solid against like Galta. You missed the week earlier. City wide. Then we can probably just get like some stupid. No, we don't want Planeswalker. Probably just get some like baffling ends in there just so that we don't. Probably put another one of these. I think the green deck's going to be popular. I think if these green white decks and these mono green decks are popular, I really think. And we can just play like a token green creature that does something. Scavenger. Just toss a couple of these in here. This card was sick in combination with this card. And I was watching that on the replays. Yeah, I did. I watched, I listened to it this morning. I was working, so I, I have to listen to it again because I missed some stuff. I always re-listen to my podcasts like twice because I just I just miss stuff. So what else we got? We have like various green black decks. Yeah, with I, I did hear you guys, uh, whatever ragging on your buddy there, which I thought was pretty funny. 
All right, so let's play some green black mid range, some green black good stuff. I was I was a little I was a little questionable with your uh, with your um, your pick of ionize. I thought I thought ionize might be a little a little um, I don't know I guess generous is the word I'm not really sure. But a part of that's probably because I don't know how to build an is it deck that's any good. It's it's definitely if you can build like a good blue blue red kind of attacky deck and get in there, like it's probably alright. So I don't know if I want this to be a stitcher supplier deck. Like a graveyard stitcher supplier one. Like maybe we just want to play like all good creatures. Like, what if we play Dusk Legion Zealot? Let's try this. District Guide. Let's put creatures on here first. We can just see what we're looking at. Probably Doom Whisperer. I want to do one that's like really hard in graveyard shenanigans next. Kind of for now, I just want to play like, I just want to build one of these versions of the deck that's just like good cards. Oh, that's not a creature. We'll get back to that then. The problem with playing like, Dusk Legion Zealot is that it might not work well with like Pelt Collector. Like maybe maybe Pelt Collector is not like a green black like a rock kind of card. Like maybe we just put like one, two, three, and we just put like uh, we're gonna find that eventually. Sort by converted mana cost. Like this deck might just be worse because then because it's not abusing like the Golgari mechanics, but it did get a lot of good cards. Like you could play this guy. Or maybe this card's like this card's like decent. I don't know. The top two cards, and you might put a land on top of your deck. There's so many to pick from. Where's the branch walker? Did I just miss it? Did I go right over the top of Merfolk branch walker? Merfolk. There it is. Am I losing my mind? <clears throat> I think this card's really cool. I'm pretty excited for for this one. We can probably play Thrashy. What do you think of the uh, the find finality split card, Andy? Brontodon. God, I'm just losing my mind. Creature, it's creature, and it's green. It's the. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. And then the other ones, you may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control. Then all the other ones get minus four, minus four. I'm 
let's get rid of this, get rid of this. Baraska's Contempt. Yeah, that was kind of my, my feelings on it. So what other sweet creatures can we put in here? Like, is it worth playing, like, probably the tubes? We probably want Ravenous Chupacabra. There might be too much removal, though. Maybe we just want Land of Elves in this deck, like, to accelerate. Like, let's put Land, let's get these Land of Elves in here. Let's get four of these in here, and let's cut some cards. We can probably cut, like, put some of these in the board. And then we probably can play 22 lands with Land of War Elves, Dust League of Zealot, Branch Walker, District Guide, Jade Light Ranger. Might be, like, a little, you know, wishful thinking doing this. Wooded Foothills. Nope. Woodland Cemetery. That one is not the green, the green black check land. Swamp, get a couple swamps in here. A bunch of forests, we can play our land of on one. And then this sideboard, I don't really know if we can afford to board, like, Carnage Tyrant in this sideboard, but we definitely would want Duress. Deadeye Navigator. Help fight the graveyard a little bit. Or did I track her? Um, I don't know if we have enough lands. No, we definitely want... What's the sack guy? What's the uh, sacrifice? The old anti-Teferi dude. The Teferi killer. It's a creature and it's black. Yeah, here's what we want. Plague Crafter. We probably want Plague Mirror too. To be able to like wipe some tokens. If we think that's gonna be a thing. And then a lot of people have been high on this Midnight Reaper card. And I don't I don't know how good this card is. Because like the control decks are going to play Settle, so it's not like it's Wrath Proof, like Horror Specs. I mean, it could probably is decent that if you bring it into a combat, that if you go into combat with it and a bunch of your stuff, like you just trade off a bunch of stuff and draw cards, it's probably fine. But you bought and opened 120 chests today. For, what were you just looking for standard cards? Now we're gonna get some Elvis Reborn. Looking for that low level gambling. Whatever gets you through the day, man. That's what it's all about. All right. Let's do another one. Add deck. We're gonna do this green black graveyard. I was Mythic Spoiler, Oathsworn Vampire. Synergy with Veraska. What's the synergy? And is that what you may cast? 
Oh, well, you have to gain life, right? But you can figure out how to gain life. It's pretty decent. So, Stitchers. So now we're going hard on the graveyard here. What is going on here? Oh, you do. Oh, okay. Jeez, some Andy. That is so much play points. What's your moto rating? Like 3,000? Yeah, that makes it. Yeah, I missed that. So let's go green, black. Oh, let's get out of this. Green, black type creature. And let's just go graveyard. I opened a lot of chests. Okay. That'll do it. So this is the anti-green-black, green-black card. All right. Let's get this guy in here. Then I'll just pray for no chain willers. I'm currently Moto Broke. That's because I've been trying to learn a bunch of modern decks. And even when I when I learned, like I was working on KCI for a while, and even when I won with that deck, I didn't. Which was a little sad. Let's look for some green black cards here. We don't want Assassin's Trophy. Oh, we're not there yet. Um, let's get Doom Whisperer. Probably want some of those still. Probably can make this larger so we can see these cards better. Looking at random creatures, trying to figure out ones to go there. Running on play points. I have run on play points here, but I haven't run a good problem for many years. That's all your tickets? Yeah. I've definitely gone to the point where I've sold, like, too many tickets. And I've been like, God damn it. Like, I'm, like, skating on the edge. I cashed out of probably, like, 600 tickets last month. And I just, I probably should have done, like, 400 Cause I cashed out of like 600 and then went to try to pick up the Ironworks deck. And like a very sad part about that is even when I win, I'm losing. Yeah. And it just feels bad to whip out the credit card. Where are you, Doom Whisperer? There you are. Probably this deck probably wants a Vraska. There's so many really cool like things going on in, in standard right now. I just really, really hope. Like I obviously like I want to play I want to play it's a fairy deck, but I really hope that like Teferi doesn't um doesn't just completely like invalidate this grindy green black deck. You just buy off friends. Yeah. It's a good way to do it. Okay, so we've got 19 so far. Probably want like an Eldest Reborn in this deck. Might not need it. Might have, might have just enough um enough recursiveness. But it also might be good to do like that. What's the sack guy name? Plague. I think I want this guy. 
in this version because the worst comes worse, I can sack like a Stitcher supplier. Not worst comes worse, but like at least I can eat it to fairy or something like that. Um. Let's go. Let's look up graveyard. Again, let's take a look at these creatures. See if there's anything sweet. Black. Green. Soul Salvage. I assume we want to find finality in this deck if we have so much like mill going on. Undergrowth. There's about a return target permanent from your graveyard to your hand. That card doesn't seem good enough. We got a bone dragon. Virtual library, okay. This card's probably pretty solid. Let's get some Molder Hulks in there. Let's just Molder Hulk some people. Oh, no, it's right there. Jason Crow. Losing my mind. Oh, no. Green Black. Graveyard. I wonder how many of these we can play. Let's put a lot in there. Let's see if we can make it work. See if there's enough graveyard cards to make this work. To put things into the graveyard. Bone Dragon. I wish there was like a Surveil. Like, we can Price of Fame, but I don't think that paying four mana to destroy a creature in Surveil 2 is worth it. I don't think there's going to be enough incident or legendaries. Unfortunately. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile target creature card from a graveyard. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on you. sacrifice it. So this is like, card just does not work. God, there's just like not enough graveyard stuff. Well, doesn't that suck? Or also have a bunch, one of the decks. Speed matters most against. Yeah. I'm just sad that I don't have like enough ways to play a lot of Molder Hulks. So we probably want like District Guide because that just like speeds everything along. The nice thing about Molder Hulk though is that it like it does just kind of like enable your your uh, it enables the next Molder Hulk. So probably we can probably put some choops in here because like Chup and a, chupacabra is probably just gonna like especially if these boros decks are good i'm assuming the chupacabra is gonna be pretty solid against them three might be a lot though i kind of want like one more of these but like maybe I have too many clunky cards. I'm gonna put another Doom. I'm gonna play another Doom Whisperer. Though I might need like Land of War Elves if I want to get up here on mana because like my, my curve's so high. Let's move these over here, and then let's just get a bunch of Elves in here. And then in our sideboard, we're just gonna go duress. Twenty-four lands is probably 
decent overgrown team. Uh, Woodland Cemetery. Cemetery. Woodland Cemetery, and now we've got Forest. We want a bunch of Forest. We're probably just going to go 8-8 eight and eight now, just to keep it, like, easy. I have to just, like, fill out my sideboard. Probably Plague Crafter, Plague Mirror, Plague Mirror, and then probably need a bunch of Thrashing Bronze Dons in this list because we don't have any in our main deck. So we could just be lazy and play a set of Thrashing Bronze Dons, which is probably like probably a little over the top. Bronta Dawn. Rontodon. <clears throat> Overask is insane. Yeah, I just wanted to play this one because it's here, and like maybe it's. Six man, maybe six man is a lot, but it might be better than like fine finality. Like maybe we can just go like Raska Relic. Raska did look really good in the video that Brad Nelson had. So Andy, I think I think this deck's gonna be pretty solid. I'm pretty excited to try this out, especially if everybody's like really high on the green. Like, I don't know how to do the mana base yet, but if everyone is really high on like these, like the mono green decks and the green white decks, then this, then this deck's going to absolutely run train. I don't know if District Guide's actually good in this deck, but like it fixes our mana, makes land drops. Why is District Guide better than Rejuvenator? So, Rejuvenator. Rejuvenator is the one that hits, right? That's the one that... Elvish Rejuvenator. So, top five cards. You may put a land. Oh, wow. It's a land? I thought it was a basic. It might be, it might just be straight better then. Yeah. I thought it was a basic. Let me put a land card. Yeah. Get out of here, boy. But like, I think this card is really solid for the deck. This Knight of Autumn. Because like, the way you lost games is you got blown out. Um, you gotta just run over, or you got Sorcery Spyglass, and, or Glen Seed Siphoner, and Siphoner's not in the format anymore, and Knight of Autumn helps with not, not getting run over, and it helps against Spyglass, though, you, like, this fog is, like, significantly worse than, like, th this fog, not, having this fog not be very good is why I was playing these Rejuvenators, or Slash District Guides. And then, like this, I'm excited. I'm, I don't know if this, like, these, the March of the Multitudes might just end up being worse than Carnage Tyrants. But this deck already gets a million mana. And then to be able to play against a control deck and bring them in at instant speed 
and just be able to fight them on their end step more. Like you sometimes you can go like Nexus if they counter it March or like March if they counter it Nexus, you know, and then just have more ways to just play at their end step and then untap and then land your Teferi. So I'm actually pretty excited for this deck. Like I think I think this is gonna be the first one that I play with. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. But we've been going for a couple hours. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Made eight decks. So I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. This is the deck that I'm gonna start with on my stream as soon as I can get these standard cards. I've got to figure out how to get these Tristanis and these these cards here. But as soon as I get them, we're going to be a good set. Take it easy, Andy. But I hope everyone has a good rest of their night. Please like like the stream if you're on, or like the video if you're on YouTube and hit the follow on your way out. And hope everyone has a great rest of their night.